So a bunch of you guys were asking me about how I flashed Android 12 on my Redmi Note 10 Pro. And I'm here to tell you that you probably should not flash Android 12 on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. If you want to know how we have Android 12 for the Redmi Note 10 Pro already, I'll explain it really quick. So a few years ago, Google made some changes to the way Android was coded. And essentially every time that Android got an update, you could have certain parts of it that were updated by Google and certain parts of it that were updated by the phone manufacturer. This created something called GSIs, which is kind of just like a generic version of Android that gets released and then all of the OEMs then code their specific stuff for the device into the device. I can confidently say that if your only device is your Redmi Note 10 Pro, no, don't flash it. You definitely 100% should not flash it. If you're like me and you have a other device to use every day, can play around with that, then sure, definitely do it. But right now, the camera on it is kind of nerfed. Uh, there's a lot of device specific features that don't particularly work. But if you want to have fun with it, it boots, it runs, and there isn't a ton of bugs. Uh, and I'm using that device right now to kind of replace my tablet for my like business device to run my Amazon FBA business. And that's just kind of how it works. Wanted to explain that to you guys. Wanted to tell you that you probably shouldn't run a beta version of Android open source on your device unless you're okay with like nerfing a bunch of stuff on it. And in that case, head over to XDA developers and go do that. Peace.